Welcome to video number three in our video publishing series. Now in this video we finally get to play around with some videos. Now you can create your own videos with your own camera and on the next video we'll show you how to edit those but on this video we're going to show you how to download our stock advertising videos that we have for you to customize and publish yourself. To find our stock videos, just go to this website, mffaudios.com, and on the left-hand side, this menu here, just look for the yellow highlighted link that says Videos and Special Audios. Click that, and here you'll see we have some special audios on this page, and there are promotional and training videos. So just click on Promotional, and that'll take you to our list of stock advertising videos that we've made for you. There may be more videos here when you watch this because from time to time we're adding newer ones. The oldest one is down at the bottom and then the newer ones as we go up. So to check out one of these videos just click on the watch link. And that'll bring up the video where you can look at it. Just click on it. It runs from YouTube. And when you're done looking at it, you can close the window. And here is the latest one we have right now. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Delohi, the founder of Metro 3, and I'm here with Michael. And let's close this one now. We're going to show you the one that we actually edited it in the next video. So let's look at that one. It's this one here. Big Al tells who should read STS. And uh, you'll see in the next video that we're going to show you how to trim the beginning and the end. Now we've already done it in this version, but learning how to trim the ends is good for you when you create your own videos with your camera. But we already have it trimmed for you here. But we're going to show you how to customize this by adding your own titles, your own captions, and all that good stuff. Now to download this or any of the videos, you just go to these links down here, and we made them available for you in different formats. Now if you're using Windows, you're going to want to download the WMV, because that will work with the software we're going to show you. If you're using an Apple machine, a Macintosh, you want to download the MOV. So let's download this WMV. We just put our mouse over it and right click. And then with Windows Internet Explorer, we're going to select Save Target As with the left mouse button. And that will bring up a dialog box where we can choose where to save it. And I'm just going to click go up here and click on desktop so it'll save to my desktop and the file names already in there all we have to do is click save now if you're using Google Chrome or you're using uh, Firefox the link when you right click WMV the link will say save link as so you'll just click save link as and when this is done downloading uh, we'll show you what to do next. All right, we're almost done here. 91% and it'll be done soon. As soon as it's done, we'll show you what to do. Downloading a large file is kind of like watching grass grow. And it's done. All right, so let's we can close this window down. Yep, and let's just hide this window for now here, and I want to show you, here's the download that we just downloaded to the desktop, and we can right-click on that, and select something to open it with. If you, any video software that you have on your computer, you can choose which one you want to look at it with, and make sure that you got it downloaded okay.
and yes that's okay so you can watch the video make sure it's all good and what we're going to show you next is how to edit and customize this video and we're going to ask that you download this free software if you don't already have it installed on your computer Windows Live Movie Maker it works on Windows 7 or Vista it probably works on Windows 8 but if not there's probably a free movie maker software from Microsoft that will work with whatever version of Windows you're using for example if you have the older Windows XP you can download this version of movie maker using this link and if you're using a Mac from Apple you'll have to look for free movie editing software there and there are many different softwares for editing videos but we're going to show you Windows Live Movie Maker because that's probably what most people have and it's free so we always like to show you the free way of doing things so we'll see you on the next video